Have you ever thought about how your pet came to be the way it is today? Ever wondered what their ancient ancestors and relatives were like? Well, just like our own species, our beloved animal friends have had a rich and complex evolutionary journey too, and this is the topic of a brilliant new book by paleontologist Dr. Dean Lomax. This book, Prehistoric Pets, explores the fascinating subject of evolution by using some very familiar animals as an entry point. As many of us have had pets at some stage, or have had friends with pets, it's a very clever way to introduce important concepts of paleontology to a younger audience in a style that's easy to understand. Dr. Lomax has very kindly sent me a copy of this book early and asked if I could talk about it in a video, so I'm very happy to bring to you all my review of Prehistoric Pets. I really love this book. I think it's a fantastic idea that Dr. Lomax has had to teach younger readers by using pets as examples of evolution, and it's executed in such a delightful way. The book features seven different pets and their prehistoric relatives, covering mammals, reptiles, birds, and fish, and packs a lot of information into the relatively short text. It's also definitely not just for kids, as I even learned new things reading it, and if you appreciate some good paleo art, then this will absolutely appeal to you too. The book starts with a short introduction explaining the concepts of ancestors and relatives, the evolutionary tree of life, and how fossils can be used to discover the ways in which organisms change over time. After this, it goes straight into the pets, starting with Ernest the guinea pig. The layout of the pages is really good and clear, brimming with the incredibly charming and adorable artwork by Mike Love, which we'll come back to in a bit, and with very nicely spaced, not too dense text. The first part you come across when turning the page is the modern pet, with an introduction to them and facts about the domesticated animals surrounding the illustration. The pets and their names each have a personal connection to Dean too, such as Toby the dog that was Dean's childhood Yorkshire Terrier that lived to be 19. On the opposite page are facts about the pet's living relatives, exploring interesting aspects of their anatomy, behaviour, and looking at particular extant species. In the case of Ernest, this includes things such as the incredibly vast diversity of modern rodents, as well as looking at different well-known rodents, from the capybara to the beaver. But then underneath these pages are the fantastic pop-ups of the prehistoric relatives of the pets. These wonderfully colourful pages are filled with information about these extinct organisms. There are several different sections for each prehistoric relative, covering aspects such as what a day in these ancient animals' lives would have been like, where in the world they lived and what they would have fed on, in addition to what the fossil material we know from them is like, and of course, exploring details of their evolutionary history, with examples of other key fossil discoveries of prehistoric relatives being featured. Something else I really appreciate is the inclusion of some relatively obscure animals. Though there are the prehistoric superstars such as Velociraptor too, creatures such as Josefo Artigasia aren't exactly well known by many people, so including them in a book primarily aimed at children is a wonderful way to introduce new people to these fascinating organisms that otherwise would remain unknown to most. I also just really like that Josefo Artigasia in particular is featured, as I've recently done a video on it and seeing the beast recreated as an adorable pop-up was a very fun surprise plus the contradiction of such a massive prehistoric animal which had huge incisors that were possibly used like elephant's tusks in intra- and infra-specific combat, being related to your tiny hamster or guinea pig is very fun to think about. I don't want to spoil the entire lineup of prehistoric animals featured in the book, you'll have to buy it yourself to see what else is in here, but I think my favourite segment would have to be the one on cats. Being owned by a cat myself, it's very amusing to think that my mostly harmless Elsa is related to one of the most fearsome and impressive looking of any prehistoric animals that ever lived, Smilodon, which is of course the point of the book. The Smilodon pop-up is an especially dynamic one too, with this beast physically leaping out of the page towards you. There's also a lot about the most famous locality for finding Smilodon fossils, the Labria Tar Pits in Los Angeles, where huge numbers of incredibly well-preserved skeletons have been found. These specimens are all members of the species Smilodon fatalis, and the site represents a predator trap, where carnivorous animals were drawn to other animals trapped in the tar pit and subsequently became trapped themselves, accumulating more and more carnivores as they were drawn to the dead and dying animals. To make sure that this book was as scientifically accurate as possible, Dr. Lomax went through the extensive literature on the various animals featured, as well as speaking to relevant paleontological experts, likening the process to writing a scientific paper, Indeed, Dean tells me that the creation of this book is something that's taken many years to put together, so you know that this is a book with a lot of hard work behind it, resulting in a product that's filled with up-to-date, accurate science. 
Another little detail I very much appreciate is the inclusion of pronunciation guides for prehistoric animal names. As someone who pronounces incredibly difficult extinct animal names for a living and quite often gets it wrong, I really like that the book tells you how to say them, which is especially beneficial for young children who are first learning about these organisms. Dr. Lomax informs me that he even contacted some of the relevant experts to ask how to say their names. A big component of the book is the artwork by Mike Love too, who Dean worked closely with. The art fills every page and as a result makes the whole book incredibly colourful and pleasing to look at. I really enjoy how the illustrations blend scientific accuracy with an adorable cartoonish style, yet despite this they all feel like real organisms that once lived, something that a lot of paleo art sometimes struggles with. All the animals have realistic looking body proportions and extensive external soft tissue, which shows a great understanding of these animals' anatomy. The speculative colours given to the organisms are also all very realistic looking and clearly inspired by colourations of living organisms, while still being delightfully bright and interesting. I notice a lot of countershading in many of the reconstructions too, which is a nice detail that adds some more realism. <clears throat> Plus the fact that part of the immediate surrounding environment are reconstructed as well, and are even included in the pop-ups, really sells the idea of these organisms being a natural part of their habitat, and their evolution having been shaped by the environments they lived in. So it's certainly a good thing that children reading this book will be exposed to some very nice and accurate paleo art. The overall design of the book is fantastic too, filled with incredible artwork as I've already mentioned, but also featuring nice details such as scraps of paper with the did you know and fossil file segments, as well as illustrations made to look like photos taped onto the page, which gives a clever sort of scrapbook impression that I really like. The actual pop-ups themselves are really fun and well made too, I've opened and closed these pages a lot and they've never got stuck or anything, and it's a brilliant way to add some more life to the book and make it even more appealing to children, as well as adults like me who also enjoy pop-ups. I really can't recommend this book enough, it's such a great idea done in an incredibly engaging way, and it's sure to appeal to children and adults alike. To get your own copy of this marvellous book if you're in the UK, you can head to Amazon where it's currently selling for the excellent price of just £11.19. For those in the US, the book doesn't officially release until next year, however it's still possible to ship it from Amazon.co.uk, or you can use sites such as the online Waterstones store. For those in Australia, it's a similar situation as the book doesn't release until December, but in the description of this video I'll leave some links to some places where it's still possible to buy them before the official release, and then as soon as it's released in other countries I'll update those links. So do be sure to get this book, I really think it's brilliant and such an amazing idea, and if you're a fan of the sorts of things we talk about on this channel you're bound to enjoy this too. Plus it's an exciting and fun way to introduce younger readers to the wonders of evolution and the science of paleontology, helping to link the present with the very ancient past. Well I really hope you enjoyed this review of Prehistoric Pets. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters, especially our Dinosaur Tier supporters Jan Owen, Corey Peterson, Greg Silvernail, George Vojtek, Persian Boy, Mike Pace, Mayer's World, Drew Srivastava, Matthias Bergscher, Nicole Bueno, Amanda von Nordek, Just F. Max, Laura Sanborn, Dominic Baffy, Alex Hawke, and Harry Evert. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.